Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Donald sets up knockout punch for Mueller, announces move to end the charade. The witch hunt against President Trump kicked into high gear this week when special counsel Mueller ordered a raid of the office and personal residence of Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen. The raid was spurred on by a $130,000 payment Trump's lawyer made to Stormy Daniels, an adult film star Trump allegedly had a one-night stand with over a decade ago. What this payment has to do with Russia, no one knows. But that didn't stop the FBI from ransacking Cohen's records, desperately searching for any scrap of evidence that could help them get rid of the president that has exposed them for being the incompetent agency they are. For President Trump, this raid was the straw that broke his back and he is now considering taking action against Mueller that would stop the witch hunt dead in its tracks. From New York Post President Trump believes he can fire special counsel Robert Mueller because the investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 election has gone too far with the raids on his personal attorney, the White House said Tuesday. He certainly believes he has the power to do so, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said during an afternoon press briefing. Some have expressed worry over this move and believe that firing Mueller will make Trump look guilty. In reality, it's the staggering double standard that the FBI has shown that makes them look guilty. The pundits say that not even the president is above the law, and so cannot fire Mueller. But when the law does not itself follow the law, breaking it over and over again, they leave Trump with no choice. It's hard to ignore the glaring inconsistencies in how the FBI investigated Clinton versus how they're currently investigating Trump. For example, it was during Clinton's time as Secretary of State in 2013 that she colluded with Russia. Bill Clinton received $500,000 to speak in Russia and met with Vladimir Putin right around the time a deal was cut with Russian company Rosatom to give them access to a U.S. uranium mine. Additionally, the special counsel's office is now investigating a $150,000 donation that a Ukrainian businessman gave to President Trump's charity in 2015. But the same donor, steel magnate Viktor Pinchuk, has given $13 million to the Clinton Foundation since 2006, and had close ties with then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. But special counsel Robert Mueller is not investigating the Clintons. Instead, he is continuing his absurd investigation of Trump, frantically trying to find a connection between foreign money and anything having to do with the president. Whether it makes Trump look guilty or not, Mueller has proven he is just as biased as anyone else in the Clinton-controlled swamp, and he must be drained accordingly. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.